In this video, I'm gonna show you how to hack a routing protocol, in this case, EIGRP. EIGRP is a routing protocol used within companies, used all over the world. I wanna show you how to hack multiple routing protocols, including EIGRP, OSPF, and BGP in this series of scapey hacking videos. First script, add a single fake EIGRP neighbor to a router. Second script, add a whole bunch of fake EIGRP neighbors to a Cisco router. Now in this first demonstration, I've got a GNS3 topology. I've got an Ubuntu Docker container. I'm gonna run my Python scripts from this Ubuntu Docker container. You can use these commands to install Python 3 pip and scapy on the Ubuntu Docker container within GNS3. So I've already done that. So on my Ubuntu Docker container, I already have Python installed and I have scapy installed so I can run my scripts on the Ubuntu Docker container. I also have three Cisco routers. These two Cisco routers are connected to the same switch as my Ubuntu Docker container. I'm gonna send fake EIGRP packets into the network to set up fake neighbor relationships onto these two routers. In this example, I'm gonna add a fake EIGRP neighbor by sending one packet into the network. First thing I'll do is import Scapy. I'll load EIGRP and then sniff the network and find a packet going to the EIGRP well-known multicast address. So basically, Scapy is grabbing a packet off the wire that has this multicast IP address. This is the well-known IP address for EIGRP. I'm gonna take that packet and manipulate it by setting the source MAC address to this, setting the source IP address to this. Now in my topology, I've got a NAT cloud that allows this network to have internet access. The NAT cloud acts as a DHCP server. So on my two routers, router three and router two, show IP interface brief shows me that the router has been given an IP address in this subnet via DHCP. Same on router two, show IP interface brief, a router has this IP address. So I have created a fake IP address in the same subnet. Now, if you didn't know what subnet they were using, you could use Wireshark to capture the packets and then look at the source IP addresses. These two routers do not have an EIGRP neighbor relationship with that fake router. Router two has a neighbor relationship to router one. That's router one's IP address. And it has a neighbor relationship to router three. That's router three's IP address. Once again, you can see that there. Router three show IP EIGRP neighbor has one neighbor relationship. That's the IP address of router two. I'm gonna set the checksum to none, and then I'm gonna send the packet into the network. I'm sending one packet only. Okay, so I'll copy that on my Ubuntu Docker container. I'll create a file using nano, eigrp hack neighbor1.py, and I'll paste that script in. Very simple script. Basically, once again, capturing a packet off the wire, changing some attributes and sending the forged packet back into the network. Control X, Y to save. Make this a bit bigger. Python 3, EIGRP hack neighbor one. Once again, router three currently only has one neighbor relationship. The script will run, capture the packet and send it into the network. Notice router three now has a new neighbor relationship. There is the neighbor. On router two, we see new neighbor relationship message, and there is the neighbor relationship. I've now been able to forge a packet, send it into the network, and make a Cisco router believe that it has a new EIGRP neighbor. Now that expires after a while, but I could run the script again. So neighbor relationship is back on router three, neighbor relationship is back on router two. Okay, so that was a very simple script. Now let's expand it. And all I'm gonna do to expand it is use a full loop. So we're still capturing a packet, but now with my full loop, 
I'm going to set the host address to 192.168.122 and the value of i as it loops round. So basically, we're going to send a whole bunch of packets into the network. So on Ubuntu, nano, EIGRP, hack, and let's call this neighbor2. I'll paste that script in, save the script. On router three, show IP EIGRP neighbor. We've got one neighbor relationship. On router two, we've got two neighbor relationships. Python three, EIGRP hack neighbor 2.py. Let's see what happens when we send these packets into the network. Okay, you can see a whole bunch of packets have been sent. It's actually locking things up on my GNS3 topology. And this is why you might wanna use physical equipment rather than virtual equipment, especially when you're sending a whole bunch of traffic. But you can see a whole bunch of neighbor relationships have been created. This is on router three. Notice many, many neighbor relationships have been set up on router three. Basically, we are doing a denial of service attack essentially by creating a whole bunch of neighbors on these two routers. GNS3 is struggling here. And that's once again why I often use physical equipment rather than virtual equipment when demonstrating hacking because in virtual environments, we often have problems like this. But my script is finished, and hopefully at some point, GNS3 will kick back into life. And there you go. You can see a whole bunch of neighbor relationships being shown in the output of this router.